This is Reggie. He's had a rough go of it, rescued from a hoarder house at two, and sat in a cat rescue for five years after that. Probably due to any number of the passive ailments uh, he has that make him, frankly, kind of gross. Luckily, I came along and could see through the snot, drool, and chronic bad breath and saw the kitten underneath. And ever since that day, I wanted to create something in Photoshop that just captures his true essence, which I've decided was a full throttle balls to the wall action poster inspired design. Think the Meg meets Rambo meets the live action remake of Cats. Big thanks to Saul Digital Photo Lab because I wanted to do more than just the average canvas or typical print. I was dead set on metal. More on them and that whole process later though because, uh, spoilers, that was literally the easiest part. Turns out cats only do uh, what you want them to do when they want to do it and only if they want to do it. Who knew? But first, we prep. A canvas is easy, I want a 12 by 18 inch print, and because I am printing this, we want a DPI of 300. I think this is a really good size if you're using a photo shot on a cell phone, which is where all the best pet photos are taken anyway. Also, despite printing, I am going to create using RGB color mode because I'm more used to designing for digital, I'm just going to convert to CMYK at the end and do any color correcting I might need to. For goofy personal projects like this, it will be totally Fine. I'll link the complete tutorial of this whole image below if you're more into the specifics, by the way. But next up, I need to grab all my 3D assets and stock photos. I always just recommend getting everything you need right at the beginning, just front loading as much of the asset gathering as possible, kind of like getting all the ingredients out before you cook. I need water and waves. Uh, we pick a few options, not just one. So everything is just ready to grab when I start bashing stuff together. My original idea for this was actually very like video game character introduction splash screen type deal. So I went hard on the 3D assets. We need fire, explosions, and tons of water splashes just to hide all the things I won't feel like blending and there will be a lot. And then of course, the sharks. We want both front and side views with different angle variations so we can just play with a few different uh, compositions before committing. I pulled a few fun assets and text effects as well, just throwing stuff at the wall and we'll see what sticks in the end. And of course we need the star of the show, Reggie. Now I knew I needed a very specific pose. I wanted Reggie riding two sharks as skis and I would not compromise on this vision. All I need to do is hold him up, snap some pics and we're good to go. That was the plan at least. Unfortunately for me, Reggie will bust out the old uh, murder mittens the second he thinks he's being lifted for any reason whatsoever. Uh, so plan B, try and sneak up and snap photos of him getting belly rubs, which he loves, crazy I know, and take as many as I can before he catches on to what I'm doing. It didn't work. Plan C, use a photo of his grumpy face and Frankenstein a body together using stock photos. Turns out nobody wants to take photos of a raggedy brown striped cat. Long story short, he has the body of a bobcat that I split in two, mirrored, sliced together, and threw on some arms from another bobcat, and then plopped Reggie's head right on that. He is 70% bobcat. Unfortunately, not so much in real life. With the prep work done and my patience frankly already shot at this point, I wanted to get the initial wave put together. When it comes to poster art backdrops, I have two words, implication and simplification. It's more important to create the implication of the environment than something photorealistic or highly detailed. So start with a base stock image, then build up from that, focusing on shape and movement and silhouette, just not detail. Backdrops are ideal for quick sloppy compositing because the details just do not matter. It's a backdrop, not even a background, a backdrop. It's going to be covered by our more important central figure, which we have in this case. A layer mask and select color range make short work of this wave and I was very liberal with the resizing and transforming. Even stretched pixels just do not matter here, especially with water, they'll blend right in. The shape is what matters. Because once we have something that basically looks like the thing, a wave in this case, we're going to then simplify it. Simplified colors and less contrast. I also knew I wanted an orange and blue color scheme going for kind of like a 60-40 split between those two colors. So right off the bat, I want the water to just be a flat light blue color that will play well with the fiery orange we'll add later on. 
A color fill layer set to a low opacity works great for this. Removes contrast and helps unify colors, basically adding a tint to everything. I went through a lot of moods with these shark jaw uh, because I wanted them to look super dynamic and extreme, but still wanted Reggie to stand out as the actual central figure. My original plan was to purposely have everything be very like symmetrical, inspired by these radical shower curtain designs, uh, but I ended up hating that. Then thought maybe a golden sea chariot type of side view, hated that uh, even more. But since I knew that Reggie himself would be pretty one dimensional thanks to the bobcat body, I could try and use the sharks to create more depth and perspective by making them larger and giving them almost a fish eye effect. And the two heads facing opposite directions will work uh, as a nice framing for Reggie. And to keep Reggie the focus even more, I opted to only show the shark heads, using the 3D splashes and uh, some dark blue shadows to hide everything I didn't want to show, which was a lot. When doing fast shading like this, I actually use a soft round brush with a bit of noise uh, turned on to give it more texture and grit. Honestly, almost everything in this composite was done using a default round brush set to just different hardnesses. Uh, no time for painting. I'm going to keep building out the waves using those 3D splash PNGs and then move on to dropping in uh, those explosion assets. Since those are 3D as well, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping and then of course some color correcting and color correcting as I go. Uh, using the explosion to separate Reggie from the background and further you know, frame him. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about Reggie while we do this. Uh, Reggie is a like I said, unique boy. From slinging slobber everywhere due to his huge vampire teeth, to his wildly knock the air out of your lungs level of bad breath, and his FHV causes him chronic respiratory infections, and that leads him to fling boogers literally everywhere. Weepy eyes and sometimes bloody eyes, which did make him the most metal cat that I've ever seen. Almost outrageous levels of IBS, the only food he can eat is literally $100 a month and delivered fresh frozen. Yes, he, uh, he eats better than I do most days. Uh, entropian and tropin, which is where the eyelashes grow towards your eyes. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. He has it. He's as tiny as he is dumb and he is just the tiniest little man. And somehow both cute and ugly at the same time. Uh, that's really a conundrum. But despite sitting around with most of these things unchecked for almost a decade, when we first met to uh, like adopt him, he was still so friendly and playful and just dying to be pet. Despite looking like a grumpy old man most of the time. He's a complicated fellow. I'm going to bring it all together just with some few extra last minute details. I really like these bubble PNGs and all the way through uh, up until now, my original plan was actually to add like a bunch of rainbow assets and make it really like hyper colored. But while the rainbow aspect just doesn't end up surviving, I still like how the bubbles added movement and helped push the perspective a little bit more. So I kept them in the end, even if they didn't make the most sense, but who cares? But I didn't like how flat they looked and thought it'd be nice uh, if they kind of reflected and distorted the background behind them. A super easy effect, I just make a flat copy of the background and bring it right below those bubbles. Then we want to use the lasso tool to create a selection of each bubble. No reason to be overly accurate, I just made sure to get the general like wobbly shape. And I used filter distort spherize, uh, so the background would warp behind those bubbles. You could also use liquify for a very similar effect. Also, I added a layer mask to that flattened background right after, uh, so now if I want to fiddle around with the backdrop, I can do that without having to redo that whole uh, process. Now Reggie definitely needs some backlighting, but I didn't want to spend time painting much of anything like I've said, so I did the age old trick of duplicating the subject. Filling it with a backlight color, I never do white, always opt for a pale color over white, otherwise things will start looking gray and muddy. Then I moved that color layered around, uh, maybe doing some warping and wrapping so that the color just peeks behind the subject in kind of a natural way. After that, I can do some speedy painting on a new layer over top of the subject to help marry the two layers together. And seeing how our main composite is done, 
uh, here's a good time to create some uh, value check layers, which is a 50% gray layer set to color over top everything. This will turn our composite grayscale so we can more effectively see our composite's varying shades of lightness and darkness. Those shades are called values. Good contrasting values are going to help create more depth and contrast so everything just stands out visually. Otherwise, things will start looking like a giant blob of chewed up bubblegum. For easy composites, I just make sure the figure and its backdrop have, for the most part, opposite values. So if the figure is dark, the backdrop might be light, and if the backdrop is mostly light, then the figure is going to be darker. In more dramatic composites, you'll want to play with shadows and shape more. Today's just not that day. I finished up by adding a big old Reggie to fill up that bottom space. First, I tried out this really fun rainbow pixel text. I did really dig the rainbow text, but with it and the bubbles being the only rainbow elements and then eventually the bubbles weren't even rainbow, it just wasn't working. So I opted for something more bold and action movie. And swiftly after that, I threw in some cat based movie puns. I also did a very, very simple color grade to really push the blues and oranges and overall uh, up the contrast just a tiny bit. Again, just keeping uh, action movies in mind. And finally to the part I am most excited for, sending out for the print. And thanks to Sol Digital, today's sponsor for making this process super easy. Uh, since this was designed in Photoshop, I'm uploading it through their website, but they also have a desktop software as well as a mobile app which is great for ordering prints right off your phone because that's where all the best pet photos live. You gotta sneak up on them when they're being cute. All I had to do was pick my print type, a metal in my case, the size, and then upload my art. We even have options to include a mat if we want, which is real nice. Give me two seconds. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. The colors are perfect and the print is super high quality. Uh, the material, the metal print itself is fantastic and the delivery was so fast, guys. It was ordered, printed, shipped, and delivered in less than five days. I was super impressed with that. Now, if metal isn't your vibe, they have several other high quality photo products to choose from. I'm loving this metal print though. Honestly, I actually might make a couple more because I think they'd look so good like side by side, like a cat horror movie poster and then like a weird cat rom-com one. I smile every time I look at this. I can't wait to hang it up. A 10 out of 10 highly recommend pet movie posters. Thanks again to Saul Digital for immortalizing Reggie in a way he truly deserves. If you like this video, consider giving us a like and even subscribing if you still need to. And remember to click the little bell icon to be notified of all new videos, including tips, tricks, and of course, tutorials. Happy designing. See you next time, guys.